What is up, guys? This is Pinzo back with another video today, and what I have for you guys is some Fang Mao. Now, this is a character that I had theorized to use one of the new items very well, and he does. That item is Envy. Basically, it makes it so that whenever you use a movement ability, a dash or a leap, which in Fang Mao's case is his right click, his reaping dash, uh, your next auto attack within three seconds will automatically crit. And that seems really good. You get a free crit for not building any crit, and it allows you to build more power pen, and that crit hits really, really hard. So this does allow you to delete people, and uh, it allows you to have some pretty fun Fang Mao games. So jump in, try the build out. Hopefully you guys enjoy. If you do, go on to leave a like, comment, subscribe, but we'll jump right into Joker's it. Axe with Pain and Mallet. I want to go a full Assassin build. That's kind of like a Brawler Fang Mao build. I'll have to try that some other time, but I want to go a full Assassin build. The omen basics crit? Yes, they do. Yep. The logic of Quiver being good in a game like this. Uh, I don't... I think you... Maleficent, I think you maybe overestimate how good Quiver is. Like, I think Quiver... It's, I don't think... I think it's 10% better than I thought it was going to be, but I still think it's pretty bad. I think the only time you're realistically building Quiver is against really, really tanky enemy teams. I don't think it's good on melees at all, and I think it's very situational on carries. So, like, I, I don't know if, if you think that that item might be broken. I don't think it's that good. The good Fang Mao game. Their team's pretty squishy. It might be a uh, how how hard can I farm Wraith mid before level six angle, but not a bad Fang Mao game. The Murdoch and if the Decker is just sucking the Murdoch's toes the, in the late game, then it's gonna be super tough. It, like it's just gonna be really annoying, but uh, not not like unplayable. I think you just based. I get a cannon creep and a river buff for my trouble. That's fine. I'm surprised he had stealth at level three. I didn't I didn't think he'd have stealth at level three. I don't think I probably don't kill him there anyway, but I'll maybe get an extra auto if uh if he doesn't have his stealth. Multi-shot in general with a third damage per each bullet. It's uh, th That's the thing about, about that item is that they balanced it so that it's worse if you're barrel stuffing people. The, uh, the side bullet's damage is based on how far they travel. So the side bullets only really do like decent damage at max range where you're not really going to be hitting them on people. You're not going to be able to hit all three onto anything except like an ulting rampage. So... Like, just barrel stuffing people with that item really, I don't think, is that good. But, uh, it is, I mean, it is bonus, bonus damage is bonus damage, right? 24% extra damage if you're barrel stuffing someone. Each side shot does 12%. Bam. Rip thunk. Rip thunk. Unfortunate. I'll ward for him while I'm here. That thunk hits, we maybe kill that guy. I, I don't know if we actually have the damage to kill him or not, but a little closer. Guys, you get to shoot me back right away. Your main bullet retains its full damage. Your main bullet retains full damage. Your side shots do between 12 and 36, depending on how far they travel. So they only do 36% of your auto damage if they travel full auto distance. Otherwise, if you're barrel stuffing someone with it, they only do 12%, which isn't very much. But it is still extra damage. And against a tank where you can hit all those shots like at medium range, it's a lot of extra damage. So I don't think the item's bad, but I think it's very situational. It's it's a tiny bit better than I thought it would be. But I still think it's very situational. Counter to mantle and giant's ring, but not all the time. 
It's mostly a counter to big characters, generally speaking, who are tanks. Right? You're mostly going to be building that against, you know, Richters, Steels, uh, Rampage, like Grux, maybe, right? That's kind of who you're going to play that against most of the time. I think my Iggy's dead. He has no flash. Yo, Iggy turrets kind of slammed this dude. Okay, got his flash. That's fine. I'm just going to check his camps. And when I force him back like that, I'm just going to check his camps and make sure they're gone. I'm just going to take a base and go to red. I'll t my flash for Sarah's flash is fine. I, I can flash her there because she's dead if she doesn't. So if she doesn't have it, it's a kill. Otherwise, it's flash for flash. Just how it goes. Yeah, no Maleficent. It's it's not your main your main bullet still does 100% damage. So the side bullets are purely bonus damage if you're hitting them. Your your main bullet is not reduced. So if that's what you thought was wrong with it, yeah, it's better than that. Again, I feel like that's a weird item in a MOBA. Like that's just I mean from Smite, that's just not something they'd put in Smite. But I don't dislike it. I think it's interesting. Anything that they put in this game that feels new to me, I like. I get, uh, apparently that's a league item, but it's new to me because I'm a smite player, so I like it. Orb feels overtuned. Oh, I think Orb is, I think Orb's quite good. I think Orb is quite good, man. I had a bunch of testers trying to tell me that Orb wasn't going to be broken, and I'm like, yeah, bro, free stats at, you know, when you upgrade that item at like the 20 minute mark if it's your first item, free stats at 20 minutes is nuts. Oh no. Got her anyway. An ally has perished. An enemy tower is under attack. I was like, if she's in solo lane, her camps are probably up actually. She just she ran from base to gank mid again. I guess she just really doesn't want my Iggy to, to play the game, but. I don't care that she knows that. She's gonna ping careful left. I'm okay. Now, now you gotta leave, bro. I pinged careful. Now I'm pinging retreat. Now you gotta go. I, I hopefully he saw the Sarath on the map and realized why I was pinging that. But yeah, I'll just take her five camp. If she's gonna gank mid again, her timers were pretty close to mine, and my five camp is up. So, means her five camp is up, probably. Good thunk. Good job, Duo Lane. You didn't die to the gank that you knew what was coming. Yeah, bro. I love, I, dude. That's all I ask for. That's all I. That's all I need in a game of Pred. You knew the gank was coming, and then you didn't die to it. Prayer hands, heart emoji. And putting it on seven, it feels busted. I mean, Sev is a character who loves to have extra stats. Sev, like, just think, think about what Sev's passive does. Seb's passive is basically gain stats, right? At a, at a very base level, that's what his passive does. So getting an item that is also gain stats is exactly what Seb wants to do. So like, yeah. It's pretty good on Seb. I need to play a game of like damage or like bruiser Seb with uh, orb. I haven't played it yet, to be honest, but I played against it once and it was OP. It slammed me. Orb, you got the mage item you want to replace Megacosm with? Yeah. I think you still just build Megacosm in every build, though. As long as that item is a max health... Is is damage based on max health, uh, the item will be good. That's all I'm saying. Oh, my Zerus is dead. We should do Fang. The jungler is sitting in solo lane right now. Okay. No one's gonna help me with this. I have hunt advantage, so like... And oh, there, Sarath is going... She's going, uh... Breach. I couldn't even think of the name of the item because it's so dog shit I forgot the name of it. She's going Breach first. Kinda just wanna dip. 
We got our objective. They uh, they could be trading mini prime. That's like in theory something they could do. I feel like they don't. I mean, it's Sarath Greystone. They could maybe trade it. Fuck. I didn't get an auto attack range. I need my, my dash needed to go 10, 10, 10 steps further, one step further. I wanted her to flash on me. I was kind of I was kind of trying to hold my dash for her flash. Oh, they have a Murdoch. Fuck. I'm about to base in front of their duo lane. They have a fucking Murdoch, bro. I'm me about to be the biggest idiot of all time. I feel like I'm going to go NV second. I'm going to go NV Omen this game as my second third. You feel bad for curb stomping some console users? It depends, Evercross. Like me personally, I feel bad about it. So like if, if I get into the game, again, this hasn't happened to me yet, but if I get to the point where I'm in a game and like if I'm playing solo lane or some shit and I'm against a guy I've never seen before and I'm just curb stomping him and he's obviously like a controller player or something, like me personally, I'm stop I, I stop killing that guy at some point. Right, like do I I, I just go I just go elsewhere and like yoink farm instead of just killing him on cooldown. Like that's what I would do personally. But no, I don't think you have to. If the matchmaker puts them in your game, it thinks that you, they deserve to be there. That's the way to think about it. The matchmaker puts them in your game, it thinks that they should be there, and then you shouldn't feel bad about anything you can do to them. But me personally, like if someone's obviously bad, I, I at some point I will stop killing them. I'll get like three and O or four and O, and I'll stop killing them. Uh, a couple of times, what I'll do is I will. Uh, if the enemy team has someone who's stomping like one of my lanes, I'll just kill I'll kill my lane opponent every time that my lane dies on the other side of the map. I'll just kill my lane opponent. That's so unfortunate, man. No way she actually hit him with that Q. I mean... Now you don't have an ult. Oh no, now there's a Decker here. Please don't snipe me. Please don't snipe me, sir. Please, sir, no snipers. Uh, uh, yeah, I don't know about that one, chief. I don't know about that one. I don't, I don't know about that. Yeah. Uh, all right. Okay. I bet. I bet you know that I'm standing there. I bet. I bet. Yeah. Someone clipped that for me. I bet. I bet that guy knows that I'm standing there. Uh, yeah. Okay. Now I know who I'm fucking up once I get my Envy online. He's unstoppable too. Wonder if he's just actually cheating. Yeah, they have a ward in my tier two. My bad. Sorry. I should have counter warded my tier two, of course. I should have known that. Yeah, I should have known that they had a ward in in my tier two tower. I should have known. Yeah, okay.
Murdoch dies on cooldown. The issue is that he is 5-0. It actually makes him kind of hard to kill. He's, he just ran to me at their blue buff, bro. He's stream sniping. He's okay. He's yeah. He's 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 sniping. He just he just ran to me when I when I was walking to their blue buff. There's a zero percent chance he's ever walking that direction. Just quad killed Crashy on Prime. Do it to him. Give him give him the sauce, man. Thought uh, you saw me place it right before you sniped. All right, Reaper. Yeah, turn the hacks off, man. Snipe his ass. Snipe his ass. Rip. Oh, no. Oh, he jump ulted him. Oh, that's kind of bad. Oh, he got out of the ult, though. He's good. He's Gucci. What's his name? Oh, don't worry. He's eating a report for this one. That guy's eating a report for this one. He's not aimbotting because he just missed a snipe. Away, oh, bro. He has flash up. Fuck. That's actually painful. That's actually painful. Why are you here? What? Why are you defending four camp, bro? Your team's on Fang. What is this game, dude? Like there, I believe that he has a ward on River there, okay? I believe that one. How do you like the patch so far? Everything is broken, Reaper, but it's actually fun, so I don't mind. Everything is busted, but it's, it's actually fun for once. This is like the last, today and yesterday are the most fun days of Fred that I've had in the last eight months, at least. What's your second item? It's called Envy. Basically, when I dash, my next auto will auto crit. When I use my dash, my next auto will automatically crit. It's like a burst damage assassin item. Nice TB. Okay, I'll take the cleanup. That's a shutdown for me. A thousand gold off, off a shutdown for me. So yeah, so when I dash, my next auto crits, even though I don't have any crit chance. Eat a dick, Murdoch. Real and base. Okay, this flash. Oh, that's my Iggy flash. That was a good juke. I don't he he saw me at the last second. That was a good backstep from him. Enemy killing spree. I don't think Oh no. Okay, she does with that stun she kills me. I was gonna say I don't think she kills me here, but with that stun she sure does. Decker stun from downtown. Okay, she ins for it. Oh, she missed another stun though. My TV does have to be careful. Oh my god, dude, there, he hit, he, he hit a thunk. Look what, look, look what happens when those thunks land. Oh, TB gets like a pentakill here. Keep going. Okay, Decker's, Decker's running. Decker's running. All right, TB, I see you. I see you. He's in the game. He died four times. He's in the game. It don't matter. Redox a diamond player. How many games does he have played ever, Cross? That's my number, that's my, that's my number one question. How many games does he have played?
TB never leaves the game. Oh, TB is definitely strong right now. Don't get me wrong. But, I mean, from behind, and he just got Ortis stacks off of those, too. From behind, he still just shreds those guys by walking into mid. I mean, it's kind of nuts. I'm going to shadow this, because I think those Aerith is coming. Oh my god! He insta-died! I didn't even get the crit auto on him and he insta-died. Whoa, what? I don't think that ult missed her, but that's okay. I mean, we still get the kills. She stunned me before I could get my necks off. She stunned me before I could next. I don't I don't think that ult missed, but did it miss? Did I did I did I aim it to the right? Or did it come up short? She was out of range? Okay. I'll just take all the farm I can get, I guess. I want to get some prescription glasses. How do you know I'm not wearing prescription glasses? The real question. All right, grab this. I think I'm just gonna go perforator. Just grab the grab the pen. 360 would have hit. My bad. Fuck, man. I forgot that that extends the range on Feng Mao by 20 units. My bad. Can you imagine if there was ability that did that? For every spin you make while casting this ability, increase the range by 10 units. <laughs> You'd have people pumping their DPI just to use a fucking ability. That would actually, that'd be sick. That would actually be kind of cool, not gonna lie. Probably should have gone to that. Oh no, my TB's getting jumpered. Getting, he's getting all the dudes on him. Murdoch, Murdoch's over there. Okay, why? But why? Why is Murdoch in solo lane? Why are they all in solo lane? Oh, I got you, Iggy. Like, I want to pull this, but there's Sarath is over here. Like, that's the person that I'm- that I need to be on the other side of the map. I do insta-kill this guy, though. Damn, bro, there's always a Decker stun. There's always a Decker stun. Wow, that snipe, the snipe that did enough damage to not let me get the fucking buff, actually. Okay, dead to burn. Iggy's dead. Oh, good flash towards the team. He's still dead. Oh, no. What? No, Narby. Narby. Yeah, we should, I guess we should have pulled that sooner. I need, the Serith not being on the other side of the map is what's a bummer. And my TV was dead. Now he's dead, he's dead again, bro. They're just sitting on this guy. Okay. I'm gonna have to figure out a way to carry this. I'm not huge, which is the issue. I need to be I need to have like 10 more kills if I really want to hard carry this. An allied towers destroyed. Wukong 2 and Smite used to hit twice back when it was a knockup, yeah. That shit was broken. But you didn't I don't think you had did I don't think you had to full spin Wukong 2, did you? You have to full allied spin? Towers. I thought you had to like half spin.
They want the tower gold, I guess. They did just kind of rip all of our towers. Kind of stinks, but... No way they're pulling this. Yeah. No way we pull this. They have wards everywhere. Yeah. They got wards everywhere right now. Oh, fuck. That's down? It's a green buff. Why am I walking backwards? Why am I walking backwards? He jumped the uh, Murdoch ult. Ah, fuck. Bro! Bro! I can't play! Bruh! That is just painful. That's just painful. Long range Decker stun into Decker ult. I just, I didn't get to move for the entire fight. I didn't get to move. Bank on Iggy is good? No. Do I enjoy this more than Smite? Yes, I do. I'm not a big fan of, of this year of Smite. I think it's fairly fun, but... Uh, and I've, like, I've played some Smite this year. I just... Like, I think it's I. I don't have, like, huge, huge qualms, but I'm also like, eh. I'd rather just play Pred, to be honest. Yeah, not having Pain Weaver feels kind of bad. I mean, he did a lot of damage. If I can get there, maybe I can steal it. Their Serith is, like, gone. If they're even on the buff anymore. Okay. Quadra kill. Narvi, please tank this. Okay. Okay. We we Fang Mao gaming, bro. We are Fang Mao gaming. Easy little quad, honestly. Not even close. Not even close. I think I'm gonna go grab my item. I think I'm gonna treat myself to a to a perforator. I think I'm gonna go Pain Weaver last. This it feels really bad to play Fang Mao without Pain Weaver. We can go double buff here. Thoughts on Envy feels like the the value falls off. I wouldn't necessarily disagree, but uh, I think like I do think later in the game it's definitely slightly worse than it is early. But I still think it's pretty nuts. I mean, doubling that first auto attack damage, especially when you can stack it on stuff like Omen. Is just gonna be insane always. Like that's always gonna be good. Good job zoning from my Iggy actually. That was good a good Iggy zone. I have to play super in and out here. Yeah. I'm snoozing playing against you, bro. I'm snoozing. An enemy has fallen. How's Countess in this? Countess is fine. She's she's pretty similar to Paragon, as in in terms of like how annoying and shit she is. She's she's a, she's an assassin. I honest I didn't think my team was gonna die there. I would have gone and helped if I thought they were gonna die. I don't think I end here, but I definitely get an inhib. Yeah, 
Yeah, I can't end. Actually, maybe I could have. I don't know. It was only Decker for a little bit. Yeah, I mean, our buffs are our buffs are perfectly synced up here. It's kind of crazy. Isaiah doesn't have Prime, so he can't take damage and back out. Like, I, I had to use my next really early in that fight, which is unfortunate, but I went in and I didn't know who was around the corner. So I had to just next for movement to get out, but uh, it works out. Damn it. I didn't think he was going to walk back. I wanted to stay off the map. I wanted to stay off the map. I would really like to take a back. I'm gonna ping retreat. Oh, I thought that minion was walking towards me, bro. It was walking towards my Narbash. I was like, bruh, where are you going? Thought oh, it's gonna be on Epic Games soon? Yeah, dude. Yeah, crit. Hell yeah. Try it out. What's, what, what do you lose? Half an hour of your time if you don't like the first game. I mean, that's it, right? It's free on Epic Games starting today. No, tomorrow. Fuck. Today's Wednesday, bro. My week is so thrown off. I streamed too long yesterday. My brain is rotted. That was an auto crit. Yep. Yep. Against jungle buffs, it looks OP, to be fair. But, uh, yeah. Played Paragon a shit ton, but wanted to make sure that... Wanted to wait for the remakes to be in a good state. That's fair. I don't think you're alone in that feeling. Yo, help the homie, help the homie. Yeah, I'm, yeah, dude, I'm sorry. You're just not that guy. I just ripped my ult because I was going to lose it. I'm just going to rip my ult there and maybe hit the Greystone because I'm about to lose the reset. So we just go mid. We can get an inhib before Prime comes up. We have a minute before Prime. Decker is a, is full damage, just by the way. I'm not even going to step up to hit this. I'm kind of scared. Ouch. For that reason, I'm kind of scared. The Decker does some decent damage here, so... Okay. We back up. We can grab right tier 2 and then set up for Prime. We're gonna have a lot of people playing. Hopefully, man. Hopefully. I want I what I wanna know. I want them to put out stats at the end of the week for how many people played. That's what I wanna know. I wanna know how many people booted up the game and played at least one game of predecessor. That's what I wanna know. I don't have my flash, but I have the rest of my kit, so. They're watching this. This is a crazy risky pull. 1100 damage. Bang Mao auto passive. Oh my fucking god, dude. We did so much fucking damage to it, I didn't even get it. We did. We fucking insta killed that shit, man. Okay. I guess it doesn't matter. Dude, we... I don't know what... If the enemy team hit that with a bunch of shit at the same time. Bro, it went from 3,000 HP to 200 HP in half a second. I was not expecting that. I mean, they have to int to walk in there ever, but still. I was not expecting that damage. I was not expecting that. That thing got bursted, man. 
I, I should I should I should probably like I should have been ready with my smite to be fair I should have been ready with it but that thing insta died 30,000 games were played just yesterday compared to the average of 3k holy shit so 10 times as many players were playing right I mean like I know that's not how math works right just more games were played doesn't necessarily mean that there was 10 times more players but even if you call it 10 times, right, generally speaking, Steam peaks about 1K. Even if you were to, I, I would say, jet, like, on the lower end, generously say that half the amount of Steam players play on Epic, which they've said more than that. But that'd be 1,500 times 10, right? If you were to 10X the, view, the, the people, that'd be 15,000 players playing yesterday. And it's probably more than that because i think that if you take the what the average of games is nor like the average games played a day i would say less players are playing more matches so yesterday a lot of people probably played a couple matches